Hey everybody, Tactic Angel here. We're back on the World of Tanks playing Live Oaks. We're in the Big Top. Big Top is a mercenary tank, one of the original four or five that came out. Uh, I got it way back in the day. Um, it got nerfed pretty bad. So this is a little bit of an update, I guess. Um, should this come up again, you know, I would said this is a pretty good vehicle, comfortably sitting between, like, a Firefly or an EZ-8, and the Rev the Revelry say, I couldn't say it in that video either, apparently can't say it, even now, um, so, rather than having a Zippy 75 or a 105, it's got a 90, which is just about halfway um, they kind of really hurt the, the aim and accuracy and rate of fire on this thing so now you're looking at 6.32 rounds per minute um, it's sitting at a 0.38 accuracy and 2.3 second aim time um, this hurts the the big top all around um, you can still make it work, and I'm going to make it work in this game. This is actually a pretty fantastic game, which is why I decided I would go ahead and upload it. Uh, in any case, what you're seeing here is um, I'm trying to use the excellent gun depression on this. Uh, this has a Pershing turret with that 90 millimeter mounted in it. Um, if you expose just your Pershing turret, you'll have a decent amount of armor, 102 millimeters plus a mantle in most spots, so, you know, you can take some hits. You can take some hits. Um, we're not getting a lot of luck here, and that's kind of one of the reasons why this tank is a little bit disappointing. Um, I could probably just spam premium the whole time, that would be just fine, I guess. But, we're just bouncing, bouncing shots everywhere. Um, if I show off too much of my body, I'm gonna really regret that. I've only got 65 millimeters of frontal hull armor. Uh, that will not hold up to much unless they hit it at an extreme angle. Which is possible, but not likely. So we put one into the lower front plate of that Carnarvon. Still trying to exploit that. We're getting just a ton of bounces. There's a shot that went right through the upper plate. But we did manage to bounce something. <laughs> we bounce yet another shot. Um, at this point, I'm actually probably getting pretty frustrated in terms of of overall, because I've only got three pens, and I'm shooting tons, tons and tons of shells. That was poorly aimed, obviously not completely aimed. So, you know, that that's just what you get. Uh, at this range, though, accuracy is a little bit less important. Uh, you just need to not play like a numbskull. I'm trying to keep track or keep tabs on both of these guys. It looks like the Panther has a little bit more to worry about. I wanted to get um, one of these guys knocked out before going on to the other. Obviously I couldn't save the other guy. I think he kind of sacrificed himself whether he knew he was doing that or not. We switch back from the premium rounds to just your ordinary AP. Um, I actually do want to go towards this, but in a second, I'm going to realize that things are not going to work like I want them to. Uh, that was really annoying. I'll put a shell in the back of that. Um, unfortunately, we're just getting eaten up here by this artillery a little bit, but he's gone. Um, and in spite of the score, we are not winning. 
My team has kind of a bad deployment thing happening here. Sure, we have two tanks back there that are facing off against the enemy. I know that there's actually another tank, and there he is, um, that's back there, and I'm thinking, man, I... I Two heavy tanks versus two medium tanks, throwing a tank destroyer on their side, and I know they're going to lose probably pretty hard uh, because they're rolling in in concert. Uh, we are going to go ahead and try to get back because we need to save the arty. The arty is the key. Um, so anyway, see the mobility here, We're hitting 45, pretty good. Um, this gun depression is going to help. This is going to be a sad panda moment for me because, like, this is not the ideal place to have to drive in the middle of a match because there are other people on that team. Uh, and I'm fairly certain one of them's behind me. So even though I'm giving myself a good position to fire on these two heavy tanks that are advancing towards my base, I'm putting myself in a position where I'm probably going to get shot in the back by the other tank destroyer on the other team. But I'm hoping to give, you know, my arty a little time to get away. I'm going to take a fully aimed shot here with just a little lead so that APCR shot hits right through the center of the turret where it's nice and flat and has no armor. So what we're gonna do here with this Gornich is try to hit it in the engine hopefully set it on fire. Doesn't work. We'll take pretty much anything at this point. He's a little bit too angled for me to be able to actually get uh, a real good shot in on him. He's got a, just a ton of side armor. I got lucky as you see the shell whizzing left to right past me. That was the tank destroyer. So I need to kind of get out of here in a hurry. Uh, hopefully we get far enough away that um, he can't see me through someone else's spot. Now this is the terrible part because I'm going to have to somehow sneak up there and I'm pretty sure uh, the tank I'm going up against has a pretty good view range. Uh, most American tank destroyers do. Um, and obviously my camouflage, not great. You can see me all the way to the end of that my own vision range. So, I'm floating about here in a 166 uh, uh, HP tin can, getting ready to just get lit on fire. Very tense. Very tense. Can we make it all the way across the swamp. Now, this is sort of interesting because I'm pretty sure I was right about where he was, but I haven't seen him yet. And as it turns out, it looks like he's made sort of an interesting play. He's decided to back up because there's no way he could shoot me from where I end up spotting him here in a second to where I was. Right? Alright, so there he is. I, I give him the, the old brown alert shot. Uh, my hope here is to just continue spotting him for the most part, maybe I'll sneak a few shots in. Like right here, he's giving me his whole side. Uh, that's going to help a little bit whittle him down. She's loaded. They spotted us. 
we're hoping that that our Artie can get a shot in on him. If I had a little bit more accuracy, I'd actually be trying to shoot at his front drive wheel. As you can see, that T28 uh, was shooting a high X at me, which pretty much means the next shot's the end of my life if he connects. We're going to take a carefully aimed shot at one of the Coppolas. And there you have it. Um, got our seventh kill. So, <sighs> big top. Uh, this is not a characteristic result. Obviously, there's the jammer pro progress. I know I keep telling people not to do these things, and I keep doing it. Um, you can stand to lose a ton of money. You can play this like that, I guess. Get our mastery, top gun, devastator, good times. Um, there we are at the top of the list. Just me and the GW Panther doing the Lord's work. And here are our efficiencies. Hope you've enjoyed this little replay. I will see you guys on the next one.